short 14 to go. He was spinning him around back in the 37, but that was his momentum that carried him. Tech second down, they need about 14 to go. Hamilton gonna drop back and look for somebody. Got all the time to roam. One man missed him. The second man's gonna get him on the 32 and drive him back. That was Kirby Smart. Helped by Richard Seymour, the big end. And the ball will be put down at the 32. They got the yards back they lost. Tech is gonna be third down here. So they may go, it depends upon this play, they may try to kick another 49 yarder. And that of course will settle the ball game. Minute and 14, the clock running. Tech in control of the scoreboard and the clock as long as they're close enough for the first down. And the field goal, not the first down, just the field goal. 62 seconds, and Tech calls time. Tech calls time here. I guess they want, they're so sure they're gonna kick the field goal, they don't want any time left for us. An education at life goes beyond academics. We inspire you to develop your natural talents, and then teach you to focus on success in life through your education. We instill purpose, peak performance, persistency, and planning in all that you do. Action makes things happen. Call life today. Making plans for the holidays? Don't forget Sonny's Barbecue. There's nothing like a Sonny's whole smoked turkey and all our country fixings to fill up that holiday table. And don't forget Sonny's Catering. We make any size family get together or office party easy, affordable, and delicious. Just call Sonny's today and have yourself a yummy holiday. 98, 99. Boy, that two-point play they didn't give us is kind of big now, isn't it? 60 seconds. Ball on the 32. Well, Tech's really grounded out on the ground today, Larry. Uh, that would make sense, though, wouldn't it? 236 yards, rushing the football. That's the most allowed by Georgia this season. And Tech's done it with a, a number of different players. Joe Burns, 33 yards. Phillip Rogers, 68 yards. Charlie Rogers, 85. Joe Hamilton, 54. So they haven't had a lot of lost yardage plays in the backfield. And they've really grounded out, consumed some of that clock. Dog tired defense walks out there. Tech's third down and a full 10. 10 and a fraction. Tech and a shotgun. Two receivers out to the right. And a man in motion of that way. Here comes Hamilton back to pass. Wide open complete in the 28. And we hit him around the 19 and drive him out. They caught wide open pass to Charlie Rogers, who had sprinted out to the right side. Nobody around him. They'll have first down there. As I said, they are in control of all of it, and that included the clock and the scoreboard with 51 seconds of clock running. It's down on our 19. They can either kick it now or kick it later. 19 to 18 we lead, and the clock is just running. And Tech, remember, is still behind with 38 seconds. They're going to try to get it closer again. They are in an eye. 32 seconds. We got a one-point lead. Hamilton is underneath. Going to give it to the tail, and we hit him on the 20. He falls forward to the 18, but they got it right in front of the goalpost where they wanted, and that was Phillip Rogers. And the clock is 19 and 17 seconds running, and Tech better hurry up. They don't have any timeouts left. They are second and nine. They are on the 18-yard line. They got to spike the ball and stop the clock. So Hamilton takes it and does. Five seconds to go. And he spikes that ball and he almost didn't do it in time. So they will try to kick a winning field goal here. Brad Chambers will come out. He kicked a long one some minutes back. One point game. And they may be doing to us what we did to them right at the end last year. Though this has been a slow, methodical type drive with a field goal that may be tacked on the end of it. Early today, they hit that left crossbar, you know. Well, that was a funny sailing-looking ball. 19 to 18. We started the game with that big trick play and led 7-0 immediately. 
A short while later, after what seemed to be like a lot of sparring and a few first downs, they hit a big play. Well, you just got to hope that Chambers hooks it or hits the goalpost again like he did already once today. He hit the upright on a 37-yarder. This is going to be about a 35-yard kick, 35, 36 yards, depending on where he wants to spot it. And it's right in the middle of the field. They ran it down in position. It looked like they almost forgot to stop the clock, but now they'll try a field goal from the 25 to win the game. 19 to 18. And again, we will call time to spike them and let them think about it a little. With five seconds, we have used our two timeouts trying to make them think about this thing. But unless I miss my guess, I think he's a senior, so he ain't gonna think much about it, is he? They are sitting there on our 18, third down and nine, waiting to kick 35-yarder to win the game. Well, Rodney Garner and Mickey Matthews, two Georgia assistants down there, instructing the guys on how to how to get that push rush and get their arms up as they come through the line of scrimmage to try and get a finger, try and get a hand on this kick. We will be looking at the feet in the closing seconds but not a wild shootout as all had predicted. Now, here it comes, our defense. I don't know if they got enough strength left to jump and get their arms up. Here's the ball game, 18 to 19. Chambers from the 25. I know what you're thinking, Lexington, Kentucky. Snap is good, and the kick looks awfully good. It's good. He stuck it in hard and deep through there to break your heart with two seconds now. And it is 21 to 19 and the tech bench exploding with joy. And all they have to do is squib a kickoff now and force us into a short return. Well, we hung in there all day long with it. We may have had three or four people playing in certain places in the offensive line, but we just couldn't get enough push off that offensive line in the last quarter and a half or so. Tech is 21 to 19 and they will kick off. You can rest assured they aren't going to kick it near any deep man. They don't want to take a gamble on some long return here. Tech finally gets the lead at 21 to 19. thought for one moment when they got down around that 12, 13 second thing and that clock was moving, they weren't going to remember that they were out of timeouts. I don't think that Hamilton did. By the way, Hamilton is back next year, so is almost the whole team. You think they won't be a handful next year? Pass and Bailey are deep for us. Williams will kick off for Tech. 21 to 19. It has been a great football game if you like to hang on and beg, because that's what we've done. Tech will kick it off. Is he gonna squib it and bounce it? Or how will they handle this thing? They stuck that field goal in there pretty high, pretty hard up into the stands where their own band is sitting behind the crossbar. Now they approach the ball and they dribble it. It's bouncing on the ground. It hits the hands of a return man of the 25, and they're going to tackle him immediately and drive him back to the 24, and the ball game ends there. It bounced high. The dogs had a man reaching for it high. Earl Chambers was a guy who got a hand on it. There was no room to run, and Tech has won in the last second, 21-19. Not with an explosion of yards or points, as many may have figured. Just a tough, long afternoon. Final score, Tech 21, the Dogs 19.